What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, uh, okay, so we skipped a day of videos because, well, we had to do hits above the damage that we really wanted to, uh, our ranking is decent, we're going to be nowhere near the damage of an account like JC's, uh, but we're going to see what we can do today because we're in that sweet spot, we are under 60%, and we're going to do one other change too that we talked about the other day, is in our uh, boss setup right here, we're going to go with the snake just to guarantee it. There were probably one or two rounds or every time that like the bleed did fall off from queen. So the fact that fairy queen Vesta does go for, or not fairy queen Vesta, mystic fairy fairy does go first. That is going to pay off for us. Um, I, the, the only other thing is I've been tempted to change a couple things up. I don't know if I want to run more armor break here, like drop precision and instead go for more armor break because that essentially gives us 100% armor break. I I feel like that's a little overkill, mainly because we're also, well, I mean, we're not using the wolf now, so that might be the better way. Let's try that. We'll drop precision. It's a decent amount of stats though, right? Like if we go back to precision and we check our attack value. Actually, no, it doesn't, it doesn't really bother it, does it? Not at least on the sheet. Let's go armor break. I want to try armor break. Uh, yes, let's save this. Let's jump in. Let's get our attacks in before somebody really crushes this boss. Fingers crossed this goes really, really good for us. We're not skipping it. We have the core active. Everybody else is good. Again, I might try to do some tests on the last day, dropping the Olivia out for someone else. Because one thing I've noticed with our squad is survivability is definitely not an issue here. Like even in the first round, like the first round... They're not shrunk and we still don't proc or anything like that. So like it's kind of safe. And then you'll notice from like these rounds on, even when the boss hits us, like he's only doing maybe 10% of the Fairy Queen Vesta and Mystic Fairy Freya shields that they're providing us. So, I mean, this could be good. Now there is some RNG involved because like when we don't get an active like right there, that's really, really bad for us. Like extremely bad for us there because we don't get an active off and that feels really bad. Uh, and we need to try to not get many of those. We need to try to have an active every single round. Um, but yeah, we have the poison up, which is good. We're stacking the antlers cane damage up. We're getting the actives again, which is very, very important here. Really good. Working out really, really well for us so far. I think we've only, or I think that's the second active we have missed, which does feel bad. feel like we're doing some decent damage. I, again, I really want to go for that one quadrillion goal here. This is going to be really big in these last few, few rounds. We need the snake to buff our Lord of Fear Aspen every time. You just don't know if it does or not, though, sadly. Because, you notice, like, the bleed, it's still up there. Even if we were using the wolf, it would be still up. Good hit. Again, like, I feel like we could do, like, I don't know if he purifies marks off. So I was like, we could try a heart watcher. I'm sure people have tried it and he purifies the mark every round, which makes him not, or that not as useful. The other thing is we could try like a Drake and just see how a Drake would work and not run armor break. It's a potential thing. I don't know. It feels like my team doesn't need the Olivia per se. Uh, we could try to find some other support hero that does something good as well. It's an option. Are we going to do it? Maybe on the last day, and we'll just see if it's good. Ah, uh, that was a really good hit. So we hit that 810. Yes, that's what we want to see. That's that's getting to the number range that we want to see for our own account here. It's nowhere near JC's with that sacrifice and everything, but we're doing a good chunk. We're doing about 6% damage on this hit. So that is really good. I really like the armor break there too. And that was even missing some actives as well. We could go a whole round here without like, you know, losing an active. That would be awesome. <laughs> I'm going to try to count this time and see how many we actually miss. So far, so good. Again, if we high roll where the snake is buffing, 
and we get that 80% stacking round after round. That's going to be perfect. Looking good. Got another active. That's awesome. Like we're good to go for round five as well. Looking pretty sweet here. I think our damage is going to be enough to bump us up on our own team leaderboard and maybe even the overall. Got another active there. That's sweet. Honestly, maybe we should speed this up too. Oh, ba bam. Let's watch faster animations happen. If you guys didn't know, it's a little cheat code. You open and close it real quick. You get faster animations in combat. Still getting active, so I'm feeling good about this one. I just realized I do technically have the wrong Fairy Queen Vesta skin on for damage, but it's not really here for the damage. I wonder what it would be like if we had like a giant killer for her to. That would be interesting, getting her to go third with an Antler's Cane. Might not work out great, though. <laughs> but if we did have Giant Killer, I mean, we might try to invest in that in the future because we do have her as one of our homeowners. Granted, it's one of the weaker ones. Oh, we got a basic attack right there. So round 11, we got a basic off. And again, it's because he was not shrunk, which is interesting. It always seems to line up whenever he's not shrunk. We always have a basic. It feels bad. There's another active coming in round 13. We're going to get another snake buff here. So we get an active right there. What do you guys think? Do you, I feel like this one was better. But there's so much of the RNG with the snake that I don't know if he actually got the buffs or not. We got another one right there, which is good. We have energy on the Ignis, which means, yes, we are guaranteed one more active. We have one more snake to come on big, big damage here. I wish these numbers that showed up were actually correct as well. They're just nowhere near correct, but that looked like it chunked them pretty good. Maybe. No, it was lower 6.5, AKA 650 because it's E14, which means 658.9 trillion. Oh, we're just so close. All right, we're going to do the last one. We're just going to smash it out. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Let this be good. Let this work. Let's get a new record right here. Oh, that was the worst one yet. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of RNG involved. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use my two attacks today. Because my thought process is there's only two days left. I kind of want to get my attacks in here. Before, because if we do kill this off and we go back to 100%, there's a chance that I don't get back down to the 60 or lower. I don't know. I'll decide that. But honestly, not too bad. If I do get a new record, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. You guys next time.